All right, welcome back. Time for Wine Wednesday. And today, it's all about Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Oregon has made a name for itself in the white wine varietal, especially in the Dundee Hills. Several local wineries have recently gotten some rave reviews for their Chardonnay. If you think you don't like Chardonnay, you haven't tried Oregon this is Chardonnay. True. That's what I like to say. Joining us on the couch to tell us more about the national nods and how you can enjoy it is Michael Fay, Vice President of Winemaking at Domain Serene, and winemaker Carl Formaker joins us as well. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Thank Thanks for, for being, being here. here. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for having us. You know, everybody thinks Dundee Hills, Oregon, Pinot Noir, but tell us a little bit about Chardonnay in, in this part of the world. Sure. Um, it's, uh, we have these special soils called these Jory soils. They're um, kind of volcanic based and we have a lot of uh, coastal effect from um, our our proximity to the ocean that gives us nice bright acidity mm -hmm. and um, we're able to get beautiful ripeness and tropical fruits with uh, you know freshness and vibrancy that I think kind of separates us from the rest of uh, the Chardonnay grown in the world. Yeah well with that in mind how is Oregon different than let's say California going with our west coast neighbor here how, how is it different? For sure I'd say you know um, the, the biggest difference is we're a cooler climate Mm -hmm. Right, so we have um, what Carl was alluding to, these like mineral and fresh characters um, that are just natural to here. Um, in addition to that, we grow, um, Domain Serene grows all of our Chardonnay at high elevation, which actually amplifies that even more. Um, but I would say, you know, we use traditional, similar traditional methods um, to, to Burgundy, which are also translated to California um, as well. But the, the inherent, um, uh, ocean influence and, and, and mineral content here um, is really, really the kind of the hallmark. As well, you know, Oregon's known for fruit. The best fruit that we produce mm -hmm. stays in the state yeah. and is consumed mm -hmm. by us. And uh, I think Chardonnay grapes are, are absolutely one of the best things that we, nice. we can grow here. That's what uh, you said, cooler. I was like, yeah, we are cooler. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Cool. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. We're not as cool as some of the people from your earlier segments that we saw in the lobby. But we do make cool climate Plenty Chardonnay. Cool. Plenty cool. Plenty <laughs> cool. No, absolutely. Well, Michael, you hit the nail on the head there because I know for, for me, in my experience, my, my whole view of Chardonnay was California Chardonnays. Yeah of which I'm just not always the biggest fan. And, and moving to Oregon and discovering the French style of mm -hmm. Chardonnay and, and how Oregon has really kind of started to put its own spin on it, it, it knocks it out of the park for me. Sure. And yeah. that just goes to show how everyone's you know taste can be a little different, so sure. people might need to try something new. Yeah, there's also a recent trend, I'd say, towards more vibrancy and freshness in Chardonnay and uh -huh. less, uh, less alcohol. So bringing those alcohols down a little bit, bringing more balance into the wine. Um, and as well, our oak profile too is not as, uh, we don't use as many new French oak barrels. We have a little bit more neutral oak, mm. lighter toast to kind of frame the fruit as opposed to having those barrels be the show, the show piece. Interesting. Mm. Um, and I think in kind of wider produced Chardonnays, you'll see a little bit more ripeness or you'll see more oak influence, um, generally speaking. And um, there's also a lot of producers in California that are making those restrained styles too, don't get me wrong, that's where mm -hmm. I'm from and they're beautiful. but. Um, I think that's kind of a hallmark of our of our style is that mm -hmm. that touch of oak and elegance. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Well, we do have the 2024 Oregon Chardonnay celebration right. coming up this weekend. Tell us what's in store. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's an event uh, two to five at the Allison in Newburgh. Uh, Carl and I will both be there yep. if that's a draw for anybody. <laughs> or, <laughs> but, not. or not. Or uh, hey, cool not. The Chardonnay is truly the draw. I think there's 50 producers, including some of the other domains that were just recognized by Decanter as well. The Anderson family and Domain Drawn, our neighbors mm -hmm. up on the top of Dundee Hills. Um, so we're all going to represent uh, Chardonnay, all different styles, you know. Um, what, the one thing, the hallmark that we we're talking about, that freshness and everything, that's a natural characteristic for mm -hmm. us because of our climate. But there's a, a, there's subtlety, d subtle differences in style. And you'll be able to, um, if you come and join us on Saturday, you'll be able to try different styles of wine from 50 of the best wineries in the world right nice. here in Willamette Valley. That's it, awesome. It really is. It's such a versatile grape. It's fun to see everybody spin on it. And, 
and while it is really fun to go exploring all over the Dundee Hills, mm -hmm. and all of you have fantastic and gorgeous tasting rooms, it's also kind of nice when everyone's all in one, in one spot, yeah. and you get to kind of pop around and one-stop shop. That's fun for us too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very fun. It sounds like it's going to be a fantastic time. Thank you both for being here this morning. Our pleasure. And cheers to a Chardonnay celebration. If you want to check it out, the 2024 Oregon Chardonnay celebration is happening this Saturday, February 24th, at the Allison Inn and Spa in Newburgh from 2 to 5 p.m. You can find tickets and all the info you need at 